So, ayun nga, as what I said, limits just another way of expressing function. Okay? So, tinitignan na lang ito. Kasi ang term na dito is approaches. Okay? What will, what will happen to the function f once x approach a given number? Okay? So, ayun yun. So, limit of 2x squared plus 5 as x approaches 2. Okay? So, proceed tayo ngayon sa properties natin. Okay, first we have first property na So, madadali naman 'tong mga properties na 'to. Hindi man 'to nakakalito. So, property 1. One. Yeah. Find the limit of x as x approaches to a. Of course, dahil constant 'yan, 'di ba? So, ganyan, ilan lang mangyayari sa equation mo eh. Sa so, substitute mo lang yung a, di ba? Technically, ang mangyayari, sa so, substitute mo pa rin yung value ng x or yung, yung ina-approach na number nung ano natin. Okay? So, magiging a naman yan. Di ba? Kung wari, exam, uh, wait para mas maintindihan nyo. I-rewrite natin siya ulit. So, find the uh, f of x of x when x is equals to when x is equals to ay yan dahil ganyan ito pala siya mas madali ganyan kwari ganyan so in x equals to 2 mo so f of x f of 2 is equals to 2 ganun lang din siya okay so properties lang namang yan parang ano lang siya identity properties okay next property number 2 to constant property naman to Limit of, uh, find the limit of C as X approaches to A. So, technically, wala naman mangyayari sa equation natin kasi wala naman tayong, pagpa, wala naman tayong pagpapalitan ng X natin. So, C pa din yan. Okay? So, last but not the least. Actually, parehas lang yan naman to. So, property... Uh, find the limit of C and limit of f of x as x just to a. So, ayan. Pinata lang dito. Transitive property lang naman siya. Okay? So, ayan. Transitive property lang naman to. Ah, hindi. Iba, iba pala to. Sorry. So, let me, uh, function of... Ah, ito! Bali, guys, ang pinapakita lang dito, what if may, con, may coefficient yung certain, ano natin, uh, may coefficient yung certain uh, variable natin. Magiging C, limit of f of x as x approaches to A. Okay? So, ano lang yan? Kunwari, 5x, five, five find the limit. So, example, yan. Example. Limit of 5x as x approaches to negative 2. Ngayon lang. Ngayon naman siyang pinag-ano, diba? So, ayan. Diba? So, ano mo lang. So, ganun, ganun lang din. Actually, pinaarte lang yan. Okay? Next, next property, property, aha, uh -huh. so ito, ano lang naman to, uh, natuguro ko na to before, pero dagdag na lang din natin. Limit of f of x multiplied by g of x is equals to limit of f of x multiplied by limit of g of x as x approaches to a, x approaches to a, x approaches to a. Okay? Gusto sabi dito, 
Kayo bahala kung anong plan, kung anong unang yung gagawin. Kung either, ya ano nyo, or hindi. Pero, technically, the same thing lang naman yan. Okay? So, ganun din sa ano, sa, tawag doon, some indifference of limits. Ganun din naman siya. Okay, so, property number 5. So, main difference naman to. Limit of f of x plus minus limit of g of x is equals to limit of f of x plus minus limit of g of x. So, x approaches to a. X approaches to A. Okay. And lastly, Teka. Dami pa pala. Sorry, ganun lang din. Pare-parest lang. So, last natin dito is property number 6. For ano naman to? For division naman. So, limit of F of X over G of X As x approaches to a, it's equals to... So, pinapakita dito, either way, pwede nyo, pwede nyo equate agad. Pwede nyo i-substitute, pwede nyo nang i-substitute yung a agad, or pwede nyo equate nyo muna. Pero, ang may, may catch to, okay, may catch to ano na to. So, x, a, all over limit of g of x. So ito, pwede nyo gawin itong property number 6 as long as yung as long as yung denominator natin or g of x is it is not equal to 0. Okay? Allow, uh, allowable itong property number 6 as long as g of x natin is equals to 0. Kasi as what I said before, any number divided by 0 is equals to undefined or indeterminate. Okay? So, let's try solve natin. So, mostly ang bibigay ko naman dito is puro properties of ano, itong property number 6. Okay, so hanggat maaari, naalala nyo pa rin yung mga special factors ninyo kasi papasok at papasok pa din yun dito. Example, okay, let's say we have this example. Kunwari, we have Example. Kunwari, we have this limit of limit of x squared minus 9 over x squared minus 3 as x approaches to 3. Kunwari, ganyan yung equation natin, di ba? So, as what I said in the first place, kunwari, direct substitution lang siya. Okay? Kunwari, direct substitution lang yung value ng x natin. Which is, kinamit lang yung ginagawa sa limit. Okay? Although, sinasabi approaches, Pero same-same lang yun. Okay? So, try natin yung substitute agad yung 3 sa x. So, magiging, magiging 3 squared minus 9 over 3 minus 3. Magiging 9 minus 9 over 3 minus 3. And then lastly, 0 over 0. Eh, ang iniiwasan natin sa mga ganitong equation, guys, is mag-0 over 0. Unless... It does not exist. Okay? Once na uh, you ex uh, do, once na nagawa nyo na lahat ng pwede nyo gawin para hindi siya mag does not exist. That the, that time, we can say na limit does not exist. Okay? E dito, mapapansin yung equation natin guys, from here muna. Mapapansin yung sa part na to, factorable siya. Okay? What do I mean by factorable? Di ba? Na-discuss ka sa inyo yung special products natin. So, itong x squared plus 9, magiging x plus 3, x minus 3. Okay? All over x minus 3. So, cancel out to. Matitira sa atin is x plus 3. So, find the limit of x plus 3 as x approaches to 3. Okay? Diba? So, magiging 3 plus 3 is equals to 6. So, limit of... Limit of x squared minus 9 all over x minus 3 as x approaches to 3 is equal to 6. Okay? So, once na nagawa nyo na lahat ng pwedeng yung gawin, saan nyo pwedeng sabihin na limit does not, ano, limit does not exist. So, pinang, ganun. Okay? 
So, ayun yung mga isa, isang example natin. Another one. Try nyo ako sabayan mag-solve. Okay? Naman bawal yun. So, find the limit of, let's say, para ito. x squared minus 9 over x minus 3. Okay? As x approaches, yun ulit, 4 naman. Okay? So, mapapansin nyo dito, technically, kahit direct substitution, okay lang yun. Lamang mawawala dun. Okay? Kahit direct substitution nyo, okay lang din. So, magiging, ano siya? Uh, 16 minus 9 over 1 equals to 7. Diba? So, wala na. Yun na yun. Or, kung gusto nyo another way to solve this one, uh, pwede nyo i-factorable yan. Pero, technically kasi, pag ganito, pag, okay, so, tatandaan nyo, once na, then, sige, as long as pwede siyang i-simplify yung, yung ano, as, as long as pwede i-simplify yung equation, i-simplify natin. Okay, yun na yung magiging rule nyo sa akin. Kasi, baka lang, hindi ko sure, baka depende sa mga bibigay kong problems, magkaiba yung sagot ng hindi sinimplify sa sinimplify. Okay? So, to make this clear, uh, every prob, every, so ito, kahit, kasi ito, example, ito actually same, same na may lalabas dito, sa so magiging, magiging x plus 3 over x minus 3. So, cancel. So, x plus 3 is equals to 4 plus 3 is equals to 7. Diba? So, ba may instance lang na magkaiba yung sagot ng sinimplify sa hindi. So, every equation. So, para sa akin, ha, sa equation, sa ano ko, every equation must be simplify into lowest term. Okay? So, I hope malinaw tayo dun. Kasi baka lang naman, may mga ibang equation na hindi siya na ano. Para sure lang. Okay, let's try to solve this one naman. So, example ulit. Number 3 na tayo. Find the limit of 2x cubed minus 5 over 3x plus 2 as x approaches to 4. Okay? So, as sumapansin so, naman sa equation, hindi naman siya, hindi naman siya masisimplify. Diba? Wala lang tayo pwedeng ibang gawin dyan. So, technically, direct substitution lang ng value ng 4. Okay? So, magiging 2 a uh, 4 cube minus 5 over 4 predicted. Plus 2. Okay. So, 2 times 64 minus 5 over 12 plus 2 equals to uh, 128 minus 5 over 14 is equals to 123 over 40. Okay, yun na yung final answer natin sa number 3. Okay? So, ayan. Next tayo. Nakikets nyo na yung process, no? Medyo madali lang naman to. Okay, so, di kayo mahihirapan. Dapat. So, another example tayo. Wait. So, next tayo. Find the limit of x squared minus 1 as uh, x squared minus 1 x squared plus 3x minus 4 as x approaches to 1. Okay? So, ayan. Find the limit of x squared minus 1 over x squared plus 3x minus 4 as x approaches to 1. So, try natin, substitute agad, sub, substitute agad yung value ng x. Okay, so magiging 1 squared over 1 squared plus 3, 1 minus 4. Okay, so yun ang equation natin. So, magiging 
1 minus 1 over 1 plus 3 minus 4. Mapapansin nyo guys, kung mapapansin yung equation, mag equate yan into 0 over 0. Pero, okay, so try natin, baka naman hindi siya does not exist. So first, ano natin, first, look sa problem, it looks like DNE, okay, or does not exist. Pero try natin siya ngayon i-equate or i-simplify. Kung simplif kung na simplify ba siya. Kung hindi, edi ano yung final answer natin, di ba? So let's factorize, factor uh, let's factor it uh factor natin both numerator and denominator. So magiging x plus 1 x minus 1 over this one magiging x plus 4 x minus 1. Okay? So ayan na siya, di ba? Medyo Medyo nagkakaroon ng liwanag. So, yung equation natin from x squared minus 1 over over uh, over x squared plus 3x minus 4 na simplify natin siya into x plus 1 over x plus 4. Okay? So, yun ay magiging bagong equation natin. So, substitute ng 1. So, 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 4 equals to 2 over 5. So, the limit of x squared minus 1 over x squared plus 3x minus 4 as x approaches to 1 is equal to 2 over 5. Okay? Gets, gets, gets. Next tayo. So, ayan. Last, ano, last problem. So, next tayo. So, ito. Find the limit of 1 over x minus 2 minus 4 over x squared minus 4 as x approaches to 2. Okay? Wari, yan yung equation na meron tayo. Okay? So, uh, try natin substitute. Uh, I try natin il ilagay agad yung value ng x. Okay, so magiging 1 over 2 minus 2 minus 4 over 4 over 4 minus 4, diba? Magiging 1 over 0 minus 4 over 0. Negative 3 over 0. Technically, mag magiging ano siya, diba? Magiging undefined or does not exist. Pero try natin ulit simplify yung buong equation na meron tayo. Okay, so paano natin siya simplify ngayon? Siyempre, pag magkaiba yung denominator, kung natin yung least common denominator nila. Which is, ang least common denominator nila ay x squared minus 4. Yan na yun. Yan na, yan na yung least common denominator nila. So, magiging, aha, uh, magiging ano to? x squared minus 4, x plus 2 minus 4. Yan ang equation natin. Okay. So, technically, kahit anong gawin natin pala sa equation na to, kahit anong natin. So, magiging, substitute lang natin yung value ng 2. So, 2 plus 2 minus 4 over 4 minus 4. Okay? So, magiging 0 over 0. So, technically, so, ayan, example nyan. Kahit sinimplify na natin yung given equation, guys. ba? Kahit inayos na natin yung equation, ang labas pa din ay... Limit does not exist. Okay? So, ayun yung magiging. So, final answer for number 5. The limit of 1 over x minus 2 minus 4 over x squared minus 4 as x approaches to 2 is does not exist. Okay? So, that's all for this session. Mamaya, may separate topic ulit tayo.